All right, lads. Okay, so I've got a couple of tips here for you. If you want to listen to them, that's up to you. But this is what I do. Chop saw. You all know I've got a chop saw. Normally, we would have this set up at a height so it doesn't hurt my back or knees or whatever. But one, I'm trying to keep the dust in the bottom of this wood pile. And two, we've only got about 50 or 60 bricks to clean up. So tip number one. I've cleaned millions of old bricks up before and by far the best way is to clean them up on this chop saw. Absolutely. We've all done the brick hammers, we've all done the bolsters, we've done the, the petrol pull. No, the chop saw. It's so much quicker, so more accurate and so much easier. So chop saw is definitely the way for cleaning them up, the quickest way in my opinion. The second thing is, when we're laying imperial bricks, these are going to go back in line. And often what you find back then, your joints were really tight, weren't they? And sometimes it's almost impossible to get the bricks down. So, what I do when the situation's like this, like that, sorry, I've just took my mask off, because obviously I've got to talk to you. So there's not a lot to take off that brick. Um, so if I was going to say we're going to clean this one up and don't need a chop saw I'll do it on this brick anyway it doesn't matter so that's the broken brick that I wouldn't use brilliant what I would do you've got to keep the depth to the base but I would cut into the brick cut it at an angle so when you lay your lime out or if you redo them in sand and cement you've got more underneath the brick, which makes it much easier to lay. I'll show you what I mean. So, you've still got the three inch or the 68 mil, the 73 mil, whatever this one is. I've gone that a bit over the top there, I must admit. But now, laying that brick will be 10 times easier. It'll be just like a piece of piss. So that's what I do. That is too much, really. I admit that. <laughs> How quick is that cleaning up though, Yeah, it's so quick, it's so quick, so much easier and also safer, safer than trying to use a petrol cutter or whatever. Yeah. Or... Well, me and you don't use petrol cutters anymore, as everyone knows we've got, we've got the battery one. But this, under uh, this has all got to come down. When this comes down, I will be up here on a bench doing it like this, straight back, beautiful. All we're doing is taking enough bricks for there. So, easiest on the chop saw, in my opinion. And if you have very, very tight joints, don't take that much off, but angle angle it back so you keep the, keep the depth on the face. Hope that can help someone. Cut out.